the head of a local health think tank has cautioned the government over its ambitious plans to ban the sale of cigarettes and tobacco products to those born after 2005. Galen Center for Health and Social Policy CEO Azrul Muhammad Khalib said the decision was an ambitious one as it represented an almost immediate ban. Putrajaya therefore needed to be cautious and ensure it had the necessary buy-in and support from the public. This generational smoking ban represents an almost immediate ban, in effect earlier than New Zealand, he told FMT. He said stronger and more effective enforcement would be vital for the ban to succeed. Azrul said based on Malaysia's track record, enforcing the ban in eateries will be a serious weak spot that will need to be overcome, adding that checking the illicit tobacco market is another concern that must be addressed. FMT previously reported that the Malaysian International Chamber of Commerce and Industry predicted that an uncontrollable black market for cigarettes and vapes would develop following the ban. Azrul said it was a bold move with the potential to make an unprecedented massive leap forward in tobacco control, drastically locking the gate against new smokers in Malaysia. Malaysian Medical Association President Dr. Ko Ka Chai told FMT he did not view the government's ban as an overly ambitious effort as he believed the health minister had the political will to enforce it. However, he added that it will definitely need the collective effort of the entire government and all of society to make it work. Strong enforcement must be the emphasis, especially at the point of sale, he said. Speaking at the 150th session of the World Health Organization's Executive Board Meeting in Geneva on January 26, Health Minister Kairi Jamaluddin said the country hoped to pass legislation this year that would bring about a generation endgame to smoking.